Hey you, what's up everybody? Chubu115 here and today we are back with our part 10 of our Survive and Thrive series. And what we're going to be doing is where we're going to be continuing off from where we left last time. And kind of when I got back when I spawned. Only way I was going to be safe if I, was, I just start the recording up here. It was no way possible I was going to survive most of this. Trying to just do this intro. So, kind of just started it from here. So yeah, we're just going to... Finally, just kill all the our friends the slimes because soon we are gonna have our friend the slime king spawning in an unexpected boss we kind of wasn't looking forward to but we got so yeah and I find this pretty effective to be killing these guys because yeah I'm up here they can't get me they're, they're slow pokes I mean they can't jump high <laughs> but, yeah you know get all of this stuff just jump up real quick <sighs> so yeah these guys man hopefully they go away not really kind of need them but yeah what's it called uh, so basically what we're doing right now we're just trying to get our friend the cuss uh, the slime king to spawn in so that we can get his treasure it's all we're about right now just that treasure that we're gonna get that beautiful treasure. Uh, so far, I feel like we killed thousands and thousands, but honestly, it's probably been like 50. <laughs> just quick scoping on point. Ooh, kill him. <laughs> and wow, the jukes—they just run so much faster in water. It's not fair. Oh my god. Get yeah, so. <sighs> man, this screen is taking forever, man. Uh, there we go. Anyway, guys, I know I'm not really talking as much in this one because I'm pretty tired right now. So, excuse me for just going quiet randomly. I am like pretty tired. It's like, right now it's 2 o'clock. Well, 2.04 a.m. in the morning, it's like, I'm tired as hell, like, oh my god, man, what? <laughs> I just, like, I gotta do this, and so I did do this, <laughs> and we're gonna just kill all these slimes, I'm so sorry if I sound tired at random points, just me being me, and me being tired, <laughs> I'm not too tired, I kind of did drink some juice, Cop no, I just like, kind of drunk some lemonade, kind of woke myself up after I figured it out, kind of, somebody spilled lemonade on my table, not sure who it was, but when I find that son of a bitch, I'm gonna kill them, so yeah, other than that, let's just continue just murdering these slimes for now, and oh, nice, he dropped bombs. I think we just killed the suicide bomber. Yeah, we're just killing these guys left and right now, guys. They're planning against us to try to blow up the capital. No! Nurse, protect everybody. Then stop being cheap with the syringes. Heals everybody but me. Logic. She'll only heal you for a price. So she wants to help every other villager free. She's no bueno. She's no bueno indeed. Yeah, these guys, man, freaking resilient. They don't want to stop coming. Go away. Leave me alone. Um, just like how we're two shotting like regular slimes, and these crits be on point. Except for that one. No one saw that. We're just gonna all pretend that didn't happen. So yeah. Uh, gonna just. Oh my god, man. I keep, they keep dropping pennies so damn cheap. Jesus. And look at this, man. So far, all we're missing is a pinky. And a pinky is a pink slime, but for some reason, it tends to have so much health. Overpowered slime. Not want to mess with pinky. Pinky's OP, though. That's all you gotta say. Strats, strats, strats. 
<laughs> what this reminds me of so much is when I play Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. That one guy with the sniper and hover just overpowered up there. It's just so annoying at the same time. It's just mocking you. You think he's gonna go down, but he just stays in midair and you shoot, you're shooting downward and he just snipes you. Oh my god, I find that just so annoying. So, yeah. Uh, soon, probably like... I'm going with... Oh, nice, he dropped a gold coin. But I'm going with, let's say, for example... Hmm... Uh, let's see, let's see, how about we say, uh, two weeks from now, I will probably start doing Call of Duty videos, so, look forward to that, and, yeah, it's gonna be pretty fun, it's gonna basically just be doing the same thing what we do on Terraria, just hiding, just hovering above everything and shooting them with our op one shot for days, remember that, one shots. That's all it takes. There we go. 150 blue slime. Surprised the slime king hasn't spawned. I'm not sure. What the hell is going on? All I know is he's just being a giant prick. And just sending his minions after me. There we go. Speak of the devil. There he goes. Let's turn off our mini map because, yeah, that's going to kill me. <laughs> Oh my god, this guy's just gonna teleport all over the damn place. It's gonna be so annoying. Oh, there he goes. Ah, uh, the strats. The strats. No. Hop off. Eh. Eh. Roadhouse. Roadhouse. Just solve everything by kicking everything. That's how life works. You solve every crime by just kicking somebody. Logic. Kick him in the face. And slime has is just eating. It's like, oh my god. Just die! Oh, what am I gonna do to you? Also, if you take a close look, I'm not gonna get too close. But if you look pretty close, the Slime King... There's a ninja on the Slime King. Kinda makes sense, he's a Ninja King Slime thingamabobber. And we're just gonna snipe him with our awesome 76 crit though. And hopefully we get the mount. What he drops is a mount and ninja gear. And if you're playing on Expert, he drops a Royal Gel. What the Royal Gel is, it makes it so that you won't take damage from the evil minions that are down there that are all just blue. That look awesome. But other than that, they just tend to attack you. And nice. I think we got a trophy. On, um, I think 100% drop is a solidifier. What a solidifier does, like, finally. It's over. It's all over now. <laughs> But anyway, what the solidifier does, it allows us to, uh, let's say, turn slime, like, gel into blocks itself, and these guys are just, do not want to stop coming. Uh, some of these, I don't even think they're from the Slime King, honestly. Oh yeah, when the Slime King, he drops minions, or those guys are annoying as well, because they want to drop minions. Yeah, minions, guys. So be prepared, be prepared for that. And we got ourselves a ninja shirt. Excuse me, let's put that on. I'm gonna put our friend solidifier somewhere around here. Let's, let's, let's just leave it in the middle of the hallway where when I open the door, because I forgot about that. And I don't know how to open the door anymore. So yeah, something else to know. Let's put our next trophy of that katana inside of blue jelly. I want blue jelly. <laughs> anyway, let's get our blue hook thing. Looks pretty weird. Uh, let's see how far this needs to reach. I think this. Yeah, this is three hooks, so that's good. It's better than our emerald hook, but our emerald hook can reach pretty far. Yeah. So, I kind of rather have this because it gives us like, a better advantage is, like when we're trying to do like. We're trying to just be Spider Man at that. It's just like. Spider Man, Spider Man. And yeah, it just it's just three. This one has three. It's actually pretty good to have around because when you're in like areas and it's just like giant holes everywhere and things go down, and the nurse decides to heal herself and just be a total douchebag. That's all I gotta say. Why? Why is she being such a bitch? Just just heal me. Damn. Selfish. Anyway, guys, 
Let's, uh, let's see what else. Uh, let's get, we're gonna get rid of some stuff. And, yeah. We'll just, uh, let's just go the wrong way, just for amusement. And head up here. There's a birdie out there. It's a pretty birdie! The bird was here, ready. We all know it. Anyway, let's just put some stuff away, like, we don't need mushrooms. Or we can use those in potions. We'll see lead. <laughs> we need shadow scales bad. So what we're gonna do for this episode? Yeah, <laughs> for this episode we're just gonna get some more vile mushrooms. Take those! <laughs> oh my god, just keep putting them more. Anyway, let's go make ourselves some. Let's go make. I forgot what thing or the name, but uh, we're gonna make ourselves a glass kill. And what that does, it allows us to make stuff out of glass. So yeah, note that can make a lantern, well not a lantern, more like a lantern, but it's a lantern, so yeah, now I'm just playing. Uh, we can make a cool, a bunch of cool stuff with it, and I, I, yeah, this still counts as a, what's it called, a furnace, so that's pretty cool. Uh, it's just, I don't know my ores anymore, I'm colorblind, but yeah, so, uh, uh, <laughs> what I thought pretty cool was this, I'm just gonna have some fun real quick. Uh, we're gonna just do something so fun. Just throw our rope over there. And that's how rope works. It's the end of this tutorial. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> Let's go. Get our rope back. And... Yeah. We're gonna need that rope later. So, we're gonna, what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna head right back to... The Corrupted. Somewhere I dread, bully, hate going. Honestly. Worst place imaginable, man. Like, uh, just we're gonna Spider-Man hang here for a while. Now, let's just start heading up. So, yeah, we can get there faster. I believe it's inside of the snow biome. Oh, matter of fact, instead of heading to the corrupted, what we're gonna do this video is we're gonna go look for that meteor that fell. Yeah, I got a ninja shirt with my ninja claws. They're a weird color because I put that on. Let's see. Yeah, we go. We got a pretty looking thing and we're gonna give ourselves some golden claws that look like I don't know just gonna change I'm gonna give ourselves a golden card and that's I don't want a golden card I want golden gloves again now and we're gonna sh 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 MLG quick scope these guys from somewhat a uh, horrible aim there we go <laughs> aim is intense guys OP-ness but yeah so what we're gonna do is since we're gonna go to the meteor we're gonna need something that's gonna protect us because what Meteor does, I don't know why I was heading this way, but what Meteor does, it's, it gives an effect for like burning and if we touch it, basically we get like an effect that's pretty damn annoying. Nobody wants the effect because who the hell wants to be getting burned while trying to get some sexy looking ore, I mean, yeah. But <laughs> we're gonna just head down here. And also, I pretty think I, uh, uh, eh, I can't even talk anymore. Also, that that zombie over there with that blue thing on his head—it's a slime, and it's pretty kawaii. So we're gonna we're gonna just put him out of his shame. Stop running! Love me! And I'm gonna just head this way and kind of just despawn him. No, no, I want to be here. Let's turn on our map again. We're gonna try to get deep in these caves. It's far and. I kind of killed my lever. Now I'm just playing. <laughs> we're gonna head down here. What we're gonna do is gonna just put that on. No, I'm just playing. I'm gonna keep that on. As yeah, everything here, just total BS. Everything just wants to attack you, and everything just wants to be with you, be inside of you. Don't 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 be too friendly with the the worms. They're not friendly enough. You hear them coming, but you're like, ooh, guess, but. Just, it's just things that's gonna go down horribly. Yeah, don't. Yeah, don't. There's a trap right there. I'm not gonna head that way. But we kind of do want to head that way. So let's just head this way. And we're gonna kill this guy. Yeah. And now we're just. <laughs> I just keep saying then. Let's just have some fun digging straight this way. And what we're gonna expect to find down here is more random crap or we're gonna find more good stuff. Honestly, it's just probably gonna be crap like that copper over there. And we don't need in this messy looking ninja helmet thing of awesomeness. Also, we found a cave. 
Now with that, it's a cave. I'm pretty sure what we can do with a cave, but we're just gonna go into this cave, so. Now just playing with a cave, we're gonna, we can find a whole bunch of cool stuff, so let's just head down it. And, uh, there's a granite! Great! One thing I want to spawn down here. How come we can't be another slime? That's my for Oh, nice! Got a night vision helmet, way better than this. Gives us up. The hell just happened? Let's just put that back on. <laughs> and it says improves vision. Improves vision my ass. I put it on. Shit just goes dark as heck. Put that on. It's, it's, just, it's just fucking dark. What the hell's going on here? Put that back on instead. I, I just saw something I'm scared. Dark. Anyway, let's just, and there goes our friend the granite elemental. Let's not let's just leave him stuck in there. He seems happy. Not really. Let's just make it seem that way just for the viewer's sake. And there's a bat. Let's go kill it. OP strats one shot for days. And damn it. One shot. Nope. Uh, seems our friend the granite just escaped. Uh, let's just kill him. Seems like perfect, legitimate. Oh my god, it's a bigger bat. I think that was an ice bat. Oh my god, don't tell me we're inside of an ice biome. Oh, where is my rope? Let's just do this. Hopefully, we make friends on our way down. If not, we're just gonna get attacked by another granite elemental. Sounds like, it sounds more fun, honestly. Yep. Damn it, we're gonna get attacked by Viking. I hate Viking. They do so much damage for no reason. It feels like somebody's saying click whenever you just hit them. It's pretty weird. And we're gonna just get some of this platinum. And we're gonna get attacked by a piranha. Great. This is why I don't like water. Piranhas. Water logic 101. Piranhas are everywhere. Note that. Um, let's head down this way. Let's see what's down here. Probably another piranha. So, let's be careful. Let's be very, very quiet. There we go. Eh, I'm not gonna touch that because it's probably gonna land on it. Probably too heavy. Making me. It's an ice bat. All these things look so vicious. So dark in here. Damn. Kill the ice bat. Does so much damage for no reason. Logic, please. It's just a bat. And oh my god, an ice. Jeez. Oh my. I don't even know what to scroll to anymore. Just so much random crap everywhere. Like that slime and snow flink. Those guys are pretty fun to hit. And I think it was a good idea that I stood down there and the granite guy is just... Let's just... Go somewhere where we won't be murdered. <laughs> that was kind of fun. Just heal. And... Honestly, I just think this is a bad idea to go hit that obsidian. So... We're gonna just transition to when I find that stupid meteor. And, yeah. Watch it probably be like five steps out of the house. But anyway, guys, I'll be back. Okay, guys, we are back and we're kind of not at the meteor, but I thought I'd show you guys something cool. These giant trees tend to spawn around the world a lot, so we're just going to climb up it. And also, there's like pretty cool stuff if you dig. Uh, it's usually like an underground area that you can dig to from these. And it's like a, it's like a room. And for some reason, if I, when I find those room and I put like one torch down, all villages start spawning like crazy. So yeah, that's the fun part about it. <laughs> but anyway guys, I'll be back when I do find a meteor and, or if I find something interesting. Okay guys, we are back and right now I'm at the beach and really we didn't find anything interesting except for just a shark over here. I'm gonna kill him real quick so we can get his fins. And other than that, that's so all. That's pretty it. And that's nice, nice. On our first try, we got a diving helmet. Uh, let's see what can we get rid of. We don't need iron ore right now, so let's just get rid of that. And 
whenever you find an ocean biome, which is basically the end of the world, and we got our friend the angler right here. I'm just gonna walk over him. Oh, so many. <laughs> As you can tell already, this is probably, this is a, this is near a corrupted. So yeah, I, I thought about making the angler house, but I'm like, he no worth it. Not right now. Probably in a different episode, we'll come back. But anyway, guys, really we didn't find no meteor this way, so it's probably the other way. So. I'm gonna head back and there goes the angler taking damage is somehow sleeping through all this so yeah let's just head back to our house there we go Match mirror and there we go and there goes the merchant talking about the skeleton merchant so yeah great for him <laughs> and I'll be back if I find something this way guys okay guys we are back and we kind of found our designated location but one thing this is the reason why I really wanted that obsidian skull because we can defend ourselves from these guys while fighting while trying to get our designated thing that we came here for so let me just put on some of that so I increase my regeneration I won't really take much damage from these guys because yeah these, they're not gonna stop coming so I'm just hanging now they're pretty damn annoying. Uh, they take so many hits from, uh, what's it called? From a, just a regular source. So this is like my only alternative right now. So yeah, let's see what can we get rid of. Uh, what's the thing? I gotta stop coming. Uh, I feel like most of the rest of this video is gonna probably be me just fighting these guys. <laughs> oh my god, it's gonna really suck. Let's see what I can get rid of though. I, that's the thing I have. So I have hard trouble trying to figure out what I don't need and what do I need. So what are we gonna do is yeah, these guys do so much damage. Uh, what don't we need? We don't need. Uh, oh my god, I don't know. We don't need copper because we kind of do have full copper. We have so much copper. We, we really don't need it, so let me heal real quick. We're gonna get more sand. And we want to really be careful here. The last place I wanted it to be, it's at. Also, the good thing is you can hit these guys through walls, so something to note. So, you just smack the heck out of them while you're through here. And yeah, let's get rid of that. What else do we don't need? We don't need... Uh, what don't we need? We don't need the rest of this gold, so it's going to allow us to at least uh, get what we need from here. And yeah. So let's try to quickly grab as much of this as we can, because... These guys are going to be pretty annoying through the whole thing. Also, one good thing is I can keep mining and still hit them. So, something good at least that comes out of this. Me being able to hit them. Oops. Wow, this is intense, really. Like, one shot, and one shot, one shot. And while I do this, what I'm going to be doing is just... I might cut some of this and so that you guys wouldn't have to watch me just be here for hours just fighting these guys. So yeah, I might cut most of this out. But when I get enough, let's say I get up to 100, I'll be back. Okay guys, we are back and so far we got 200. I kind of got more than... I bargained for than for what I said also I kind of just like decided to magic mirror back to my house so that I can at least get a bed because I kind of have to mat I had to magic mirror back to this area real quick so I could fight these meteor heads off and so far I killed over a hundred they did not want to stop killing me so Let's just take off our spawn right there. We're going to head right back over here. 
And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start making meteorite bars. And the way we do this, I, we go to a furnace and it takes three meteorite ore to make, well, just it's called meteorite. It takes three to make one bar, so let's do that. And nice, we were able to make 71. This is copper, so we don't really need that. And we're gonna go make some armor. Nice, the armor looks pretty sick, honestly. Look this. It's gonna make, and this gives us more defense than what we have. Let's get ourselves a nice helmet. Let's get, I'm gonna put this right here. We're gonna put it somewhere though. See what we can get rid of. Let's get rid of this slime banner. And what we're gonna go do is gonna put some stuff away again, cause I don't know why. I just tend to have my inventory always full. I don't know. I just like, I'm a hoarder. Don't judge me. It's what I do best. It's what I do. And let's get rid of that, cause we want to show our nice meteorite armor that we just got. So let's go down here and finish our set. So so far we got the headpiece. We're gonna make ourselves the suit, the breastplate, We're gonna make the leggings, and yeah. And we have 26 left over, and with that 26, what we're gonna do, it's gonna give ourselves a space gun because our, our set bonus for this, it allows us to get a space gun and the mat, and we don't have to use any mana, so it's pretty damn helpful right there. So we can shoot this all we want without losing mana and it does about 22 magic damage not bad not bad uh, it doesn't do as much as our musket but it's still something got something nice to have now and yeah so it's pretty good and what we're gonna do is put most of our stuff let's see what else we don't need we don't need some of those these also when I passed the corruption going to where our destination what I did was I got picked up a few more vile mushrooms and real quick I'm gonna show you guys how to turn these into uh, the powder itself so we're gonna grab our sand gonna go right here gonna just finish making these left bars real quick see how much more we can make just gonna make that much put that there and yeah we're gonna make ourselves some glass with and it takes two sand to make one glass i don't know why i don't understand two sand but it's two sand uh and we're gonna make a bottle that's what we need. we just need a bottle what we're gonna do with this bottle we're gonna place it right on top of that crafting bench you can place it anywhere it can basically be anywhere like it could be on even on a floor but i don't know it's like certain area you can't put it but that's how you make bio powder you just put a bottle down and you can make vial powder and we're gonna turn all of our mushrooms into powder and so far i believe let's see let's go to our guide and ask how much we need crafting right here we're gonna need to make the worm food we're gonna need 15 rotten chunks and so far let me go look for these chunks probably inside of a chest right here yeah we got 11 so far so what we're gonna do is gonna go collect some more real quick. Okay guys, we are back and I I cut straight to when we get to the corrupted so that I, I can show you guys. Well here one sec, it's, it's so loud these lasers man. Sound right there. It's, it's pretty annoying. <laughs> And what we're going to be doing here is we're going to try to get like four more of these rotten chunks now, like three more, so that we can be able to go fight our friend the Edo of Worlds and we can destroy him, basically. So all we want to do, just want to destroy you. We don't, we mean a lot of harm. <laughs> and yeah, we just need 15 and we already have all the vial powder, so if you guys are wondering how the heck we make it is, is oh my guys this guy's a stealth but <laughs> the way we make them is we need to make them at a demon altar and demon altar are these things right here so that's all we got to do basically is get enough to make it at a demon altar pretty pretty simple pretty simple one of these guys want to drop rotten chunks that's basically it only simple when that happens, but other than that, these guys want to be pricks. So yeah, note that. They're pricks. 
<laughs> all right, and let's come over here and just grab all these hearts because we're breaking pots and we're not even aiming at her pots so yeah and this is I, I, what I love about this is since it's like unlimited mana I can just keep shooting this as like a source of light which I find pretty awesome so yeah now let's just keep walking around oh nice we got, we got 15 90 and notice right, let's make it real quick after we kill him and that guy right there uh, 16 not bad not bad and the way we make it just go in front of a demon altar and we get ourselves some worm food let's get rid of this real quick so get a time to grab it put it back in my inventory and let's see what don't we need we have let's put this over here back on and set and there we go and the only way to summon him is if we're inside of the corrupted but we're not going to do that in this video because we're almost out of time guys so what we're going to do is we're going to start heading back and we're going to just magic mirror there and i'll explain a little more so when we fight him we're going to have to get prepared we're going to have to do something like we did here for the slime king where the slime king couldn't reach us and like how the eye of cthulhu we had it to where they could he had like we had a good area to fight him in for the cor corruptor the way we're gonna fight him was we need a lot of wooden platforms like we have here so that we can keep jumping up and down because he is gonna be coming underground he's a giant worm and it's just yeah that's why I kind of wanted this because I can unlimited I have unlimited bullets and I could just keep shooting at him so something good to know something good to have at least when, when we do find us so we can get ourselves some shadow skills so we can make ourselves some better pickaxe a better pickaxe more tools better stuff um basically but anyway guys that's it for this video hope you liked it I, and usually i would be posting this around six to seven the latest is past seven which is like eight o'clock so yeah, look forward for that. I will. I post videos every day, and in the days that if I don't post a video, I try to do like a follow-up video. Probably do two videos, but I probably it probably won't happen for a while because I have pre-recordings done already. So if I end up not like, just not doing a day, it's probably gonna be just a pre-recording so and like it'll probably be something else like for example it'll probably be like a different gameplay it'll probably be like uh like another gameplay that i did already that i'm working on it's not not gonna probably post it but yeah it's only for like a day that i don't feel like doing like i'm pretty tired i just got i don't i'm just want to go lay down but anyway guys don't forget to favorite like subscribe Share this with your friends. It helps a lot. It grows my channel and I appreciate it a lot and soon we will I will be doing different gameplays. It won't be just all Terraria be more Call of Duty and I don't know probably like I said in the beginning Probably this week next week probably two weeks from now I will be getting a capture card for my Xbox and I will be doing some advanced warfare gameplay that so that you guys can see how it is but from mine but I, I it's kind of too late for me to be doing that so yeah because I kind of am a grandmaster prestige and if you don't know that if you don't know what a grandmaster prestige is it's somebody that plays advanced warfare and past prestige 15 and I can I feel like it's too late so I'll probably be doing some Easter egg videos on zombies or zombies and I will be showing you guys how to do the Easter egg and all that fundamentals probably be playing Titanfall trying to do a road to just like playing Black Ops 3 because Titanfall and Call of Duty just remind me the same way I don't know why they just do but anyway guys let me stop yeah just keep going because I know I'm just not moving here I'm just doing my hand expressions I don't know why it just keeps me flowing when I do these but anyway guys I'm Trippy 105 and I'm out peace